Good morning, YouTube. Welcome back to Full Tilt. We got the F350 and the not so perfect Bobcat E26 and UJ, of course. It's Monday. Hope you guys all had a good weekend. First things first, I want to talk about where we're working. We're in Lewisbury, PA, about two hours from home, not too bad. Last week, I was in good old Connecticut, Hammer and Rock. Um, anyway, we're gonna do a disc site today. Um, we're gonna start it, put our grounding in, put our pipe in, uh, get as far as we possibly can. And tomorrow, we're gonna go help Ed and Ray um, over at Trenton, New Jersey, pouring some concrete. Man, look at all them snow plows piled up pretty. Anyway, I also want to touch on an event coming up, a YouTube meet and greet that Mike from Dirt Perfect is kind of getting together with Hyundai. There's 20 other channels and um, 19 in other channels, including us, sorry. Uh, so check it out. Mike posted a video, a live stream on Sunday, kind of talking about what it is and what it's all about. Again, September 30th at the Utility Expo in Louisville, Kentucky. Check it out, be there, or be squared. Hope to see everyone there. Excited to meet everyone. Anyway, let me get my pictures, log into this site. And again, it's always photo time here at Full Tilt. Anyway, I'm hide the combo so you guys can't break in on me. Now this disc site is gonna be going back in that corner over here. It's a pretty wide open site. It shouldn't be too, too bad. These yellow marks here indicating that disc site. I'm not sure exactly the layout. I'm gonna figure that out. First things first, we're gonna climb in here, um, strip all the stone out. I got a trench around the compound. Um, the two inch conduits are gonna go under this meter can over here. And then we'll stub out the fiber as we've been doing. Again, I'm gonna go 30 inches of depth to be safe. Ground ring, same thing, 30 inches. And no inspection, but still wanna do it the right way. stone cleared out I saved out most of the stone except for that little pile that little pile and of course that big pile that's kind of a disaster but I should be able to grab with the mini and yeah again one day I'll be Ed maybe just kidding anyway the layout's all done as well um, I did pretty good without ripping that fabric up too too bad so we'll be able to save all this stuff 
And right now, apparently it's hard to get fabric, so I gotta be more critical on that. Now, my outside line is gonna be the dig for my grounding. Oop, you guys are a little dirty. Let me clean you. There you go, sorry guys. Um, it's gonna be the dig for my ground ring. Again, I go a little bit outside because that's the way you're supposed to do it. That's what the plans call for. Um, that right there is gonna be our test well area. Now, the inside box, that's gonna be where the platform's gonna be. Again, five by seven. And our pipes, we have been bringing them up 12 inches off the front, 15 inches into the side. Well, Chris, the electrician, wants me to try to bring them up in the center, right next to each other. So that's what we're gonna do. And our path of uh, utility run is gonna be a 90. And then basically we're gonna put probably 20, 30 feet of pipe in the ground. Now, let's go talk to Howie, this guy. Another PM from the company we work for. Let's just see how this guy's doing today. Howie, what's up, bud? What's up, bud? Say hi to YouTube. Say hi. Don't just wave. Hi, YouTube. How you, how you feeling today, bud? Good. Yeah, talk doing to us. Doing great. So you here to fire me or what? Yes, I'm here to fire you, Brandon. Thank God.
not gonna lie, that's a lot of work. It's hot out and we had some extras here. We had to put in an ice bridge post. So we used five gallon buckets because I didn't bring the post today. It's not really my job, but I figured I'd help Howie out. Now the grounding's all done. I still have to knock that down and extend this ground in and hit that tower. There's just so much dirt that I decided to wait to do that. Because man, that's one thing Tim, when you watch this video, you're going to see. Tim doesn't really know that this is a lot of dirt, bud. A lot, a lot of dirt. But anyway, got our test well in. Um, this time I put in my pipes with my ground ring. It actually worked out a little bit better. Um, it definitely took a little bit longer. But I'm ahead of the game for when I come back. I don't have to do that. Um, basically, tomorrow, the electricians now can come ahead and build this platform without me being here. And I can go work with Ed and electricians can do their job. And then basically I'll come back here Thursday because I have to pour another pad on Wednesday. And I'll finish my pipe run. And then that day we'll pull wire in. And this dish site should be done. Hopefully on the electrical end, the tower guys still got to do their work up top though. Now again, we're at a proper depth for everything. I'm too deep, three feet. Um, that's pretty much the way it goes for me. I'd rather be safe than sorry. So we're gonna backfill this stuff, um, compact it, lay our fabric down, and then put our stone back and get the heck out of here for today. ice bridge to work otherwise it could be off and we don't want that so i'm gonna wait like i say lay this thing all out lay out our platform 100 percent and then we'll put in that last ice bridge post and we'll make this thing line up perfectly Everything's backfilled, all the groundings in. 
All the buckets are soldered to burn. Oh man, that was a lot of work, not gonna lie. It's late. Tim, you earned me on this one, bud, not gonna lie. Whew. Anyway, now we're gonna spread some stone quick. I'm only gonna spread stone in the area that the platform is. That way the electricians can come here tomorrow and build the platform on a level area. The rest of it I'll do another day when it's not five o'clock at night.